Amy Roloff admits working with Karen Chandler is awkward. Matt's situation will impact her forever. Hello, dear lovely viewers. Welcome to Blast Gossip with Jesse. I hope your day is so well. LPBW's Amy Roloff and Matt Roloff have come a long way since their 2016 divorce, but things still aren't completely healed. The mother of four revealed that working closely with Matt's fiancé, Kara Chandler, the former longtime manager of Roloff Farms, isn't completely comfortable for her yet. For me, it's still kind of awkward to meet up with Karen, Amy, 61, said in a teaser for the Tuesday, April 2, episode. Not that everything that was going on, Matt and I's situation, that still doesn't have an impact on me because it'll always impact me until the day I die. Fans watched during the March 26 episode as Amy and her husband, Chris Marek, teamed up with Karen, 56, and Matt, 62, as they planned a silent auction for the Dwarf Athletic Association of America. The former exes met with their respective partners to discuss the plans surrounding the fundraiser and Matt admitted he and Karen were letting go and letting Amy be the boss of the event. Karen is very list drive, constantly making a list, and Amy's a little haphazard. Matt said of his ex, who he was married to from 1987 to 2016. And so we're in a supporting role, and I think we know, we have Elaine. It's on her shoulders, Amy agreed in a private confessional that both parties were doing their part to make the event go well. The auction items, they may not have come up with a few more than I was hoping, but they're bringing in people, the LPPW star explained of Matt and Karen, and that's just as important. So we're bringing in more auction items, but they're bringing in probably a lot more people than what we are. He's also getting the whole barn ready for us to host this event. Amy said she would work on a rough itinerary for the evening, but Karen doubted the plan would come to fruition. Do I think I'll see an itinerary prior to the event? I mean, I got a 50-50 it's shot, Karen said in a confessional with Matt. But if I were to put my personal money on it, I would probably say no. Amy and Matt have made strides in their relationship since announcing their decision to divorce in 2015 after nearly three decades of marriage. While Amy and Matt had their fair share of issues over the years with Amy having her suspicions that Matt was involved with Karen during their marriage, they have worked hard to get along for the sake of their brood. Amy married Chris, 61, in August 2021, while Matt proposed to Karen in April 2023 after seven years of dating. LPBW's Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler reunite with Amy and Chris for first time since engagement and awkward reunion. Little People, Big World stars Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler reunited with Amy Roloff and Chris Marek for the first time since announcing their engagement. In a teaser for the Tuesday, March 19, episode, shared by TLC, Matt, 61, and Karen, 56, visited Amy, 61, and Chris, 61, for a dinner date and Matt hoped the outing would not be awkward with his ex-wife. I don't know if she's going to make this awkward or she's okay with it. The father of four, who was married to Amy from 1987 to 2016, explained to producers. But we're going to find out in a few minutes. Before their arrival, Chris warned Amy that Karen's ring was bigger than hers. The diamond is going to be bigger. Okay, how much bigger? Amy questioned in a solo confessional. You make it sound like it's a rock that covers her whole hand, but I don't give into all that stuff. Almost immediately upon sitting at the dinner table, Amy asked Karen to see the ring Matt and Karen have always been vague about their plans to make it down the aisle, but the TLC personality shocked fans by announcing his engagement to Karen in April 2023. After six wonderful years together, I asked Karen to marry me and she said, Yes, Matt told people, Our plan is to enjoy our engagement and we are looking forward to a simple but elegant wedding in 2024. The pair opened up about their backyard engagement during the March 12 episode of the series, with Karen telling cameras she had no idea that Matt was planning to propose to her. The sun has set so the ambience was just really cozy and nice, Karen explained before Matt decided to get the ring he had hidden in his room and just go for it. Matt introduced his relationship with Karen in 2017, one year after he finalized his divorce from Amy. While Amy married Chris in 2021, Matt's relationship with Karen was more controversial, considering she was the longtime manager of Roloff Farms. Everybody, I believe, have different people that they jive with at different stages of your life. I have absolutely no regrets looking back over Amy and I's 26 years of marriage, the Against All Odds author told producers at the start of his relationship with the mom of two. We outgrew each other in some way, 
And now, my heart's open for LPBW's Amy Roloff admits ex Matt Roloff will have an impact on me. Until the day I as Amy worked through her emotions about her ex, Matt's VNK Karen admitted she and Amy will forever share a bond because both they both have Matt in common event as they move on with engagements and new spouses. Amy Roloff will always hold a piece of her marriage to Matt Roloff with her. On Tuesday's episode of Little People, Big World, Amy admitted that she felt still kind of awkward around her ex-husband Matt's VNK Karen Chandler as they met to go over a fundraiser they were planning on the farm. While Amy, 61, explained that she didn't want to hear the personal details of Karen and Matt's relationship, she added that holding on to any drama was not necessary and didn't serve anything. Still, she confessed that Matt and I's situation still has an impact on me because it'll always impact until the day I die. But, you know, you just do the best you can. Karen, on the other hand, revealed that her relationship with Amy has been good. I think there's been some history where she had a lot of feelings about the farm and her space and I totally got that, she said, before noting that she had true respect for Amy's sense of maturity. And so I'm just glad that she made the choice to embrace the relationship with Matt and I because it's made all of our lives easier. Though the two may not get be the best of friends, Karen went on to tell cameras that she's always liked Amy as she listed off the qualities they both share we're roughly the same age and we're both a little forgetful and maybe a little clumsy. And I mean for God's sake, we're both married to the same guy, she laughed. I'm not married yet, but you know what I mean. We've both been with Matt forever and no matter whatever happens, Amy and I will have Matt in common, the good, the bad, the whatever, she added in February. Amy confessed that she and Karen were unlikely to ever become friends but shared how they'd both go out of their way to be friendly towards each other. We're cordial, we're respectful, Amy told, we can be in each other's company. We can enjoy that time. I wouldn't say we're going to be best friends or anything, Amy, who was married to Matt for 28 years up until their divorce in 2015, knew Karen for years prior to their romance because she worked at the Roloff family farm. I never wanted to have anything to do with them, but yet I'm still doing a show with them, she said of the couple, who became engaged after nearly six years of dating. But that is like... So, time changes things and you grow up or you have a different perspective on it, little people. Big World's Amy Roloff shares heartfelt message about impact of Dwarf Athletic Association of America exclusive clip season 25 of Little People. Big World will soon end but not before the Roloffs host a charity event for a cause near and dear to them. At Roloff Farms, Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler hosted a fundraiser for the Dwarf Athletic Association of America with the help of Amy Roloff and her husband, Chris Marek. TLC shared an exclusive sneak peek of the event with Parade ahead of the Season 25 final on Tuesday, April 23. I have been a part of DAA since 1985, Amy tells a crowd at the charity event. DAA formed because they wanted to give an opportunity for those with dwarfism to have an opportunity to play sports. Amy shared that she competed in DAA basketball and volleyball and watched her son, Zach, play soccer. Now, she gets to watch her grandson, Jackson, Compete in DAAA soccer too. Even if you lose, you learn how to pick yourself up and start over again. The mom of four continued. And to me, sports speaks so much more about life. This is what DAA meant to me. Amy added, It's important for this organization to continue, not only for my son but now for my grandson. Speaking with producers, the Roloff matriarch shared that DAA gives you the opportunity to try sports, to play it. She explained I think just having the opportunity to play and be in that environment just for a moment makes a huge difference in individual dwarves' lives. As of writing, TLC has not officially renewed Little People, Big World for season 26. Zach and Tori Roloff previously announced that season 25 would be the last for them and their three children. It's unclear if the show will continue without them. Subscribe Blast Gossip YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.